Today I'm going to make risotto, a rich and creamy rice flavored dish with butter, cheese, and wine. The cooking of risotto is done in a slow process manner with only portions of some of the ingredients added to the mix at one time. The recipe repeats the steps of adding the ingredients again and again until the entire amount of the ingredients have been used. I have written the recipe onto my kitchen whiteboard. I am usually making several dishes at once and the whiteboard will help me track the recipes as I go on. I will start with step one. In a three quart saucepan, I will saute the onions in the olive oil. The onions are now sauteed. I'm going to add the one cup of rice. I'm going to saute the rice for one to two minutes. The rice is now sauteed for two minutes. I'm going to add the wine. The next step is to add the hot broth, one cup at a time. There are three steps. Pour the broth into the pot, stir, wait three minutes. I need to do this step four times. Remember, there are four cups of broth in the ingredients. To track the number of cups I've added to the saucepan, I will draw a box on the whiteboard. I'm going to label this box and give it a name. The name I'm going to give it is Cup Count. I'm going to start with cup one. Now I'm doing step two of the sequence by stirring. I'm finished stirring, and now I'm going to wait three minutes before I put in the next cup. Whenever I look at cup count, I know how many cups have been added to the saucepan. I've waited three minutes. I'm going to go back to this first step to add the hot broth. I'm going to see how many cups I've added. Have I added the four cups? I've only added one. So now I will add a second cup. I am now going to do the second cup. I'm going to change the cup count to two and do the next steps. I've now finished cup count two. I'm going to compare this cup count number to the total number of cups I need for. Since cup count two is less than four cups, I need to do this sequence of adding the hot broth again. I have now changed the cup count to three, and I will be doing the third sequence. I am now finished with cup three. Since the cup count is less than or equal to the number of cups I need, 
I will add another cup. I am now finished with cup four. If I add one to the four cup count here, it will be greater than the four cups here that I need. Therefore, I am done with this step, this entire step, and I can check off this step and move on to the next step. So it says, I'm now ready to do the last step removing the saucepan from the heat and adding the cheese. Tracking the cup count has enabled me to be sure of how many cups I've added into the saucepan and enabled me to do other things in the kitchen while I was cooking the broth.